Hi, I'm Katie Most. I'm the production designer for The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy. Welcome to Behind the Pixie Dust. I'm hoping to show you guys a little bit more about what I do as a production designer, uh, and also teach you how to make some of the props and set dressing that we'll be using in season two. Production design always includes a little bit of magic, so Pixie Dust seemed like an appropriate thing for this show. Hope you enjoy it. Today I have with me Paula Rhodes, Hi. who plays <laughs> Wendy Darling on The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy. I'm so excited to have you with me. I'm so excited to be here. Today we're going to make a composition book or journal, um, but it's actually going to be with a little special touch. Uh, we're going to cover both sides with maps. Um, one side with a map from home, from Ohio, for Wendy, and the other side with a map from the big city. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, cool. she gets a journal, she gets to like figure out her new life in the This big is city. so good on so many levels for this It's, it's going to be very good. All right, let's get started. Cool. Uh, so the things you'll need are a composition book, I bought this one at the dollar store, uh, and so it was a dollar. Dollar's a great price. Yes, it is. But even better is free. Um, I have this map left over from a trip to New York, um, but you can also get maps for free at AAA. Um, what? Don't abuse the privilege. It's it's you know don't don't steal from AAA. But it's also true if you've gone on a trip recently and gotten maps, then you can use the maps to help you make a trip journal and talk about the trip you've just been on and talk about your travels. Perfect. As a little adornment for the top, for the front of the journal, I bought these little cute um, tags. They were really, they were on um, sale at Michael's, they were cheap, but you can also, somebody taught me this online, you can take a paint chip from Home Depot what? and also make a tag. I'll, I'll tell you about that later, but. Holy cow, yeah you can. You need your handy X-Acto blade, a paintbrush, use an old crummy one because you will be using Mod Podge uh, addictive stuff, really great. Um, it's essentially glue. You can use Elmer's glue if you want. Um, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Pair of scissors and a straight edge ruler. After we're done, we should mod podge everything. Yeah, I think that's definitely a good okay, idea. Good. Just cover everything. Don't tell Kyle. No. Okay. No. To start, we're gonna uh, trim the map. Um, basically, I just ended up uh, cutting my map into sections, but. Uh, Pick a pick spot you like. Like actually decide what you'd like to show on your journal. Ooh. Um, like what part it. of the state you want to actually get yeah. off? I mean, this is this is the New York surrounding area, so it's a little bit bigger. You we can don't get the need whole Long, Long Island. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in order to make things no, a little Long Island. Does it matter if you cut along the lines or anything? Actually, that's my number one tip. Maps are really nice. They both have the fold lines and the grid lines. If you cut along either, you can do a pretty good job of figuring out what your chunks are. Because you want to you want to cut sizes that are approximately the size of the front of your front or back of your notebook. So you just have to decide. Um, three map sections tends to be just about right. Um, but you you know your mileage will vary. vary. Look at your map, figure it out. It's a good joke, mileage. Cause mileage, I'm yeah. Triple A. That's very good. Good. This one's a good one. It's the whole of Lower Manhattan. Oh, I love it. Downtown. Exactly. Um, and then I have some of the bits of Ohio. Um, this is a nice one with Lake Erie on it in Cleveland. Cool. You want to cut one side of your map with the straight edge and with your X-Acto blade, so you can edge it right up along the black. Uh, part of the composition book. That helps it look clean and crisp. Otherwise, it looks a little mushy. My thought is New York on the front and for you know, the future and then Ohio on the back Love for the past. Uh, basically, you want to play around with it and see exactly what you want. I figure we can cut along this red okay. line and get a little bit of the, of the Hudson and the East River. It should be nice. Along the red line. Um, I have a cutting mat underneath here so I don't damage my table. Um, you can just use a piece of cardboard if you don't have a fancy cutting mat. If you're like the worst at cutting ever, or don't have an X-Acto blade, could you do like something over this, like a ribbon at the end? You could definitely, you could put a ribbon either to cover the whole of the, the spine, or you could even do a ribbon or a piece of string, or like, I don't know, bedazzle oh. the edge, so that you, you take uh, the focus away from that not so pretty uh, cut edge. But we have a pretty one here. We do, we have a beautiful one. So now that we have the map trimmed, uh, we're up to the Mod Podging section. Uh, so open up your Mod Podge. If you are um, if you want to, you can pour it out into something else. I've done that at home, but we're, you know, we're living dangerously yeah. here. Yeah, um, it's crazy. Paula, you're a Mod Podge expert. Would you like to take 
take the lead on this? Sure, is there anything people really mess up on that I should know about? My one tip is uh, less is more on this. You don't want to over Mod Podge. Then, then you get okay. the, the gooey, gross bits. Nobody likes gooey gross. No, and it, it actually gets it harder to not have air bubbles and not have, you get wrinkles, you get sort of smushy bits. I hate smushies. Um, the other thing to be careful of, um, you want to be, have a nice clean line along the edge. Mm -hmm. And you know, honestly, if it gets on the black, it's not the worst. Use wet paper towel or a little bleach wipe or whatever, and you can wipe it right up. It's not a big deal. And then you just cover the entire yeah. surface? Okay, just smooth it out. Skosh. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. Paula, you're definitely an expert mod <laughs> your, your Your layers are nice. You're not, you know, not Thank too much you. in any one spot. Do you hear that? Good. Adding it to my resume. <laughs> so now that you've finished expertly applying the Mod Podge, good job. Uh, you want to expertly apply the map. The size of the map is slightly bigger than the notebook. Yes. Right. Which you have. Which you right want now. because you're gonna do, you're gonna trim around the edge to make okay. it all clean and pretty. But that one straight edge is gonna make sure that you get a clean line on the front of your book. Line up the edge. Line up. I like and that. Then just smooth it out, right? Yeah, um, you can use, I, sometimes I've used the, the flat ruler, I've used a paintbrush to roll, you can use a credit card. Um, really, you wanna make sure to get as much of the air and Mod Podge over to the edges. You don't want bubbles, you don't want wrinkles. Flip it open, and you'll see there's a little bit of glue, you can wipe that off. Uh, and then you take your X-Acto blade, and you can either use a ruler or just hand do it. Uh, if you're not comfortable with an X-Acto blade, which I know a lot of people aren't, you can actually just trim it with scissors. This is where this cutting board comes quite in handy. Oh yeah. Um, Don't mess up your furniture. Oh no. And so this is the front cover. It already looks pretty great. You want to make to, sure to smooth out all of the bubbles. You want to make sure that it's exactly how you want it. Um, one of my big tips is you'll want to probably put something heavy on top of the book. Um, you can wait until you've done the other side as well, but you want to make sure to weight it down. It'll it'll oh, just roll. While it dries. Yeah, while it dries, okay. it'll roll a little. The Mod Podge is a little damp. The cardboard in the in the composition book reacts. It's it's not the best situation, but if you put down a weight, it'll be beautiful. To do the back, it's exactly the same procedure. We're gonna just pretend that we've already done the back side um, for the sake of time. Uh, if you want to have a, t a tag on it, you don't have to. I mean, honestly, this looks pretty. It's cute. pretty cute. Um, but it's actually kind of cool to have a little bit of a label on it. Something something that lets you, you know, claim it as yours or title it or whatever you want to do. So with the paint chips, what's kind of great is you can choose almost any color you want. Ooh. Um, I did a lot of, of Wendy colors. I love color. it, I love it. Which color should we use for this one? I don't know, why don't you pick? That one's a pretty good match. Yeah? Yeah, I, I think that's good. Matching the park colors. Yeah, cool. I like it. Um, so I have this... Very good. I think I've actually painted the room that color. Nice. I think I had a little of that color for a while. There's one that has a weird name. They all have weird Whoever that's comes true. up with these names, that's a job. Someone has that as a job. There used to be a thing. I wonder if they moonlight as a crayon namer. <laughs> that would be, I would actually take that job. Um, be good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, ha I bought these tags from Michaels, as I said before. Um, and you can use the pre-done ones. They're all sorts of really cute, vintagey. But if you're going for you know cheap and homemade, which I am a big fan of. Free especially. Yes, free is the best kind of cheap. You're so good at cutting. <laughs> it's, a, it's a practice skill. All right, so then we have our little green tag. And now out of nowhere, I have my pan green paper hole punch that I totally forgot to mention might be a good idea at the beginning of this. Yes, it all matches so well. Oh my gosh. I like there's a theme. I know, green. It's like, it's this color that goes I through everything. It's so strange. Yeah. You match punch the back of this? That's what I did. Okay. Okay. Something like that? I like it. I like it. This is another time where, um, actually it's a really good idea to put a book on top. Um, I let mine sit overnight. Here is our fully complete. <laughs> Fully dry journal. I love it. New York on the front, Ohio on the back. The past, the future. It's lofty, you know? It, it's a lofty place. You know, I like to do that with props. Yes. I like to have, like, I think about, like, what it means for the character, and then they, that people don't see them at all. And, and I'm excited to have this in season two. Yeah. And it's like a fun little Easter egg. You guys have to find all these things. It'll be good. Katie's pro tip. 
Uh, for this week, my big tip is that you can actually use this same method for almost any kind of decorative paper or newspaper or book. I mean, if you want to customize any journal in the same way, use your creativity. I mean, there are a lot of really beautiful decorative papers out there. You can even use wrapping paper from a, from a gift that you loved. Uh, it's a great way to, to remember something and then, you know, write about it and be creative.